Let's learn how to create links to outside websites as well as links to pages created on our classroom website using a wiki hosted classroom website. And I am on my classroom website, Mr. Barnes Virtual Language Arts at barnesclass.com and I've created this page called Creating Links just for this demonstration. So I'm going to come up to Edit and I am on my Edit Me wiki hosted classroom website but you can do this on just about any wiki host and uh, what I've got here I've created this little section just says uh, let's create a link to an outside website and make that bigger just because I want to make it bigger and uh, we can see it better okay so let's say that I would like for my students to see the website biography.com now I could type in www.biography if I could spell it dot com and, and this would work I would create a link here that they could click on but you know, it just doesn't look as nice and I may have a list of links to other places that I want my students or visitors to go to so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just type biography B -I -O -G -R -A -P -H -Y, and um, I'm going to say uh, biography library and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to select this text so I'm holding the left uh, mouse key down uh, depending on what kind of computer you're using I'm going to select that uh, I'm going to bold it just so it's a little bigger now the key here on my toolbar and most wiki hosts will have some kind of toolbar like this I'm going to come up and I'm going to click this chain link icon that says insert edit link okay now what I want to do is I want to type my link uh, unless I have the site open which I do so I'm, I'm just gonna go to biography.com which is what I want I'm gonna copy the web address that I have there I just right click my mouse and, and click copy and now I'm gonna go back and where it says link URL here uh, I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna click paste now if I want my students to stay on my site and I want this to open in a new window I can come to targets and I can click there and I can just click on open in a new window and you'll see that's kinda nice so I can click insert okay so now I'm gonna save and close and what I've got is biography library and I click on that and it opens and that opened in a in a new page because my Barnes class site is still open over here All right, so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create uh, a link to a page I already have on my site and like I did before I'll just make this bigger so you know we can see it looks like a, a heading there and now I'm going to uh, a page I have created on my site that I want to lead my students to I have a, a site that or a page that is called individual reading project and we visit that page a lot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select that text again and I'm gonna bold it and I'm gonna go right back to insert edit link and I have two things I can do I've got link list now if I click on link list I can find it because this is an alphabetical list of all the pages on my site and there it is um, ERP individual reading project or I could have just started typing and it, it, it would pop up and I want that to open in a new window as well and I'm gonna click insert and I'm gonna click save and close and now when I click on this link individual reading project where my students do they're taken to my individual reading project guideline page and uh, that is creating pages on a wiki host creating links to pages and creating links to outside websites in five minutes or less.